Welcome everyone to today's tutorial. Today we have a question on the board. It's Matt Olipel question. Now, if you take a good look at the question, the question is straightforward. Okay, by trial and error method, we can get the first root to uh, this challenge, which is your plus two. Okay, so if you put plus two into that equation, it will satisfy the equation. But many looking at the equation, you have here, raised to power three. So what does that mean? It means we have to look for three possible values of S. So we can only use trial by error method to get only one of the roots. So how do we get the two other roots? Are they going to be um, real roots or imaginary roots? That is the reason why I brought out this question. Okay, so before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do well to turn on the bell notification button because that will enable the YouTube algorithm to notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video because at Online Mass TV, we drop wonderful videos all the time. On Saturday, I'm going to drop a powerful um, math challenge, okay? So you subscribe to get that mathematical solution. All right, with that being said, let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we put down our solution. Okay, solution. The question is you have x minus 4 or to the power of 3 equal to minus 8. Now, the first thing we do here is to move this 8 to this side of the equation. So this will now give us x minus 4 bracket plus 8 equal to 0. Okay, let's put our power 3 here. Now, we look at this. Yeah, because this part is raised to power 3, so we think of a way of rewriting this 8 here. 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. So this will now give us here x minus 4 bracket plus 2 to the power of 3. Ah, oh, well, am I always forgetting this power here? Okay, 2 to the power of 3 equal to 0. Now, with this expression we have on the board, what comes to mind is our algebraic identity. Okay. Remember, the algebraic identity which says that if you have, uh, let's use this, it says that if you have your a to the power of 3 there plus your b to the power of 3, this is equal to your a plus b close bracket bracket your a squared minus a b plus b squared. Okay, remember this identity? Okay, good. So if we go by this identity, you discover that what we have here is similar to this because the whole of A is X minus 4. So your B is your 2 here. And so if we go by this analogy, then we're going to have our equation to be your X minus 4 or to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. This will give us your square bracket, bracket, our uh, A is X minus 4, okay, the close bracket, plus our B, which is 2, the our square bracket, close, open another square bracket, the bracket open again, A again is X minus 4, all squared, the minus A again is X minus 4, Close bracket B is uh, 2, so into 2, the flux, what is our B? 2 or squared, close bracket, or equal to 0. So at this point, we can open up this bracket and also open up everything we have in here by simplifying your x minus 4 to the power of 2. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be your bracket open, your x minus 4 plus 2, close bracket, bracket, open. If you open this bracket, if you simplify x minus 4 to the power of 2, this will give us x squared, okay, minus 8x, then plus 16. Okay, now if we use these two to open up this, alongside with this minus, we are going to have here to be minus 2x, then here we give us plus 8, then plus, 
Yeah, 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4. Close bracket. Everything equal to 0. So this now implies bracket open x minus 4 plus 2 will give us minus 2. Close bracket. The bracket open. Here we have x squared. Then let's take our x term. Minus 8x minus 2x will give us minus 10x. Then plus 16, the plus 8 will give us 24. That is plus 24. Plus 4 will give us plus 28. So we have here plus 28. Everything equal to 0. So let's proceed on this other side of the board. Okay. Let's proceed. Yeah. All right. So from this expression, yeah, we cannot apply the zero product rule, okay? We say that we equate this to zero, we equate this to zero. So the first case here, we're going to have this to be your x minus 2, okay, equal to zero, or x squared minus 10x plus 28 equal to zero. Okay. Now, from here, it is easy, so we have our x is equal to 2. This is the first solution, which I told you at the beginning, that with the trial and error method, you can get the first root, which is your positive 2. Okay, then we take case 2, where we now have x squared minus 10x plus 28 equal to zero. Of course, this is a quadratic equation. So what do we do here? We are going to apply the quadratic formula in solving this now, okay? So the quadratic formula says that your x is equal to um, minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's go ahead and bring out the value of a, b, and c. So from here, we have our a is equal to your 1, which is the coefficient of x squared. Then b is equal to minus 10, coefficient of x. And c is equal to positive 28. Very easy. So let's put these values into our formula. If we do that, we're going to have x is equal to minus bracket minus, um, oh, sorry, yeah, minus, please. Is b is minus 10, please. Okay, so we have minus 10 bracket plus minus the square root of minus 10 bracket r squared minus 4 dot uh, a is 1 dot c 28. Okay, all over 2 dot 1. So our x, therefore, is equal to your minus times minus will give us plus 10, the plus minus the square root of minus 10 square will give us 100, the minus 4 times 1 times 28, that will give us 1, 1, 2. Okay, all over 2. Good. Then from here, we're going to have our S to be your 1, 10 plus minus the square root of 100 minus 112, that will give us um, minus 12. Yeah, okay, minus 12 all over your 2. Okay, so we can remove this minus sign here, okay, through your identity, which says that the square root of um, minus 1 is equal to your iota. Okay, so if we bring that here, and also 12 can also be simplified into 3 times 4. And the square root of 4 is a 2. And so with that, we can rewrite everything here as, from here, let's proceed again. Let's proceed again. Your x is equal to 10 plus minus 2 okay, into the square root of 3i all over your 2. 2 is common to both here, so we can simplify 2 out. So we have here x is equals to bracket 
2 into 10 will give us 5 plus minus the square root of 3i, okay, all over 2. This, this we leave. So we now have our x is equal to your 5 plus minus the square root of 3i. Now we have two solutions from here, now two roots from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and split the root out. And also, we calculated the first root to be um, 2 already. And so, the three roots here, we have x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 5 plus square root of 3 iota, the x3 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 3 iota. Okay, now these are the three roots to this math olipid question. Q E D. Now, I've substituted these three values into the initial equation, and they both satisfy the uh, equation, the math olipid problem. Okay, the math olipid equation. So this might be the end of this tutorial. Now, if you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have a better way, a better method of solving this, also drop it in the comment section. You have a question with regard to this solving, to this solution, to this procedure, also drop it in the comment section. We are good at replying to comments, okay? We always reply to all our comments, okay? Remember, this is All I Mass TV, and my name is Jix Anemo. If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe because here we drop wonderful videos all the time. Like I said, on Saturday, between now and Saturday, I'm going to drop a wonderful challenge, okay, for our learning, for our fun, okay? If you love what is going on here, share this video tutorial with as many as you can, those that you know they will benefit from this, okay? Thanks for always being there. We are proud of you and we promise we pledged to um, give nothing but the best, okay? Thanks for always being there once again. We love you. We love you. Bye for now.